Good morning, adventurers. We're going to find ourselves a little adventure here in Michigan uh, a little bit later, but we hopped out to go to this nice breakfast spot called um, Mason Jar. I guess that's why there's a bunch of Mason Jars everywhere. But I got me just a classic bagel and avocado and some egg. What'd you get the broccoli omelet? Broccoli omelet. And Adam went with, you might have won, that looks amazing. Yeah. Egg green churro with chorizo. Dude, I'm gonna get that next time. Yeah. Also got myself a nice little spot of tea. Also, this is the best latte. Check it. Look, it's it's a uncommon coffee roasters. This thing tastes amazing. That might be the best. Is it a latte or is it just like cold no, brew with half and half? No, it's just cold brew with half and half and sugar. I didn't yeah. realize that, but it makes it amazing. Friggin' delicious. So the plan is we're gonna hit the store up, then we're gonna swing back by the house, we're gonna pick up Phil, which uh, you guys have seen him on the vlog before, he's uh, Allison's brother-in-law. But we're gonna pick him up, then we're gonna head to these dunes that are nearby that I think there's gonna be some snow on them. Yeah, some right? snow-capped sandwiches. Snow-capped sandwiches, which sounds amazing. <laughs> right. We're gonna check those out. First, though, we're gonna grab some kombucha. They have my favorite brand, this kind. So freaking good. There's only six grams of sugar in this whole bottle. Awesome. It is freezing cold out here, you guys. We found proper winter. Is it gonna be this cold in England? Maybe. Colder, you I, think? No, I don't think cold. I hope it's not much colder than this because this is about the limit of what I can take. But I definitely should have dried my hair. We've picked up Mr. Phil. Adam decided to stay back because he wasn't feeling very well. Poor fella. Poor guy. But we're at, uh, what's it called, Phil? Grand, Grand, Grand Mere State Park. Grand Mere State Park. Marion and, County, Michigan. And the dunes are, how far is it to the dunes? Well, we'll start getting into the dunes in like less than a mile. Okay. And my uh, jacket never came in, so uh, I borrowed Phil's giant jacket, so I am not gonna be cold no. on this trip. We're getting more and more sand as we go. This dune is steep, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the sand makes it a little harder to get up. Yeah. It's a classic case of like, my core is very warm, my extremities are very cold, and my nose is very runny. <laughs> Dude, this is a workout, oh my god. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so windy. <laughs> Instagram, thinking I'm gonna get her right up there and all the scenery around here. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. <laughs> You're killing it. Now act natural. Be Instagram worthy. Bill found himself a log. <laughs> That's a good log. Is that your walking stick? <laughs> my toes but it's beautiful out here <laughs> and it's really windy <laughs> this beer is called dune grass and it's in the dune grass <laughs> mind blown <laughs> Does it work? Let's see. Working on the railroad. Let's see how waterproof my gloves are. <laughs> Did 
That was super enjoyable, you guys. The scenery out there was amazing. Really, really windy and I'm freezing my balls off, but totally worth it. Big thank you to Phil for being our guide. This guy's been sharing, us, sharing with us a bunch of uh, facts about the lake and stuff, because he, he grew up around here and about the dunes. So if you remember when we were back in Costa Rica, we met a couple, or we made a couple friends down there. And uh, they told us, they actually spent some time around the, these parts. They live in Costa Rica now. But they told us about this distillery that's actually just 15 minutes from here called Journeyman Distillery. And uh, we told them we would go there and snap a picture. So we're gonna make a little stop there, I think try to grab a beer and send a picture to them. <laughs> it's very slippery. <laughs> Our insurance doesn't kick in until tomorrow. <laughs> Did we decide we're gonna stay here tomorrow or are we gonna drive back? I think so, I think Adam was yeah. done. I think that'll be better for our bodies. Yeah, probably. Because we're anticipating having a bit of a hangover tomorrow, <laughs> probably. I don't know if I mentioned this, but today is New Year's Eve. Did we say that? <laughs> well, it's New Year's Eve, so yeah. we're gonna have a big, Phil's family is having a big New Year's Eve party. That's why we came up here, to hang with them. We found the distillery. It's in a town called Three Oaks, just near Lake Michigan. It's in this old, uh, factory area. So I think we're gonna do the whiskey flight, but maybe I should do the, I mean, I can try the specialty flight. It looks pretty interesting, fine yeah. girl brandy. Okay, we're gonna do the whiskey flight and the specialty flight. Adam was feeling a little bit better, so he decided to come and join us. We saved a little whiskey for him. But they're all very interesting. Cocktail I ordered is called the Grey Joy. It's got whiskey, lemon juice, Earl Grey syrup, house bitters, egg white, and cinnamon. And it looks freaking delicious. That's I think I made awesome. the right call. Yes. Phil's gonna head out. We're gonna go do the tour. Adam's coming on the tour with us. I'm here. Back from the dead. Back from the dead. <laughs> he slept for like three hours earlier. <laughs> So it looks like we're gonna be the only ones on the tour. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> this place is so legit. <laughs> we're a grain to glass distillery. Uh, we're certified 100% organic and kosher. Um, we're only about one of 20 distilleries that can say that. Quality is key to us. This is Ethel. <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> Oh, whoa. <laughs> that like makes you go numb. <laughs> Holy cow. It's good, isn't it? It's good. Stick a straw in there. <laughs> yeah, can I just Might dip it? Might not make it upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have. Uh, you would last long. Oh my God. That is <laughs> <Right>? hard. <laughs> That's 180 proof. Yeah. yeah. So we learned all about how to make the booze. Now we're gonna go try it. The funnest part of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I do not like it, but <laughs> it's very interesting. We're back at the house, you guys. We're chilling in the basement. Yeah, this is where this is we where we've been staying tonight. But we, so we went to that. We did that uh, distillery tour, and they poured us like fourteen. Pours? Is that how many? Pours. I lost count, guys. Lost pours. And we were not expecting that, so it pretty much knocked us flat. <laughs> so, so, our the... plan is to hydrate and get a little presentable because look at this, you guys. Yeah. And this have a little food because <laughs> we got proper drunk at that distillery. That's yeah. what we're trying to say. Luckily, Adam was driving because I was not expecting. We were in the situation where it's like they kept pouring them, and I felt too bad to not drink them you know and they were just one ounce pours but when you have 14 of yeah. them it's like psh. well and we connected the guy that that did the tour was from uh he just was from like a, he was from a from town right hometown. next to our town in missouri yeah and we're so up in michigan world. so it was like oh small world so he was giving us more pours and we felt too bad to like not drink them and it's not even like 8 p.m. on New Year's Eve and we're already <laughs> sloshed. <laughs> so and we're trying to sober up and then get back into the vibe. so water <laughs> And taking it easy, eating a lot of food. The well, drunk adventurers. It's probably you haven't seen them in a while. Honest, how we're talking. The drunk, drunk adventurers.
2016 is officially dead to us. I hope it is for you too. Bring on 2017! Guys, the party is still raging upstairs. <laughs> it's like 3 a.m. now, and we have lost steam. Yeah, we but, stayed up too late last night. Yeah, but the good news is we didn't drink very much, so we're not going to have a very bad hangover tomorrow. Yeah, here's to a fun and fresh 2017 yeah. with no hangover. I hope you guys had an amazing year. I hope 2017 is better. And uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for coming along with us on our travels this year. It's been pretty it's much been the awesome. most crazy adventure of our lives. And we're going to try to make 2017 even more epic. Yeah, we realize it's it's been like almost... <laughs> About one year exactly since we started yeah. vlogging full time, which is crazy. We probably should have tracked the exact day so we could yeah. have like a vlogging <laughs> anniversary, but it's somewhere around now. We'll figure it out maybe and let y'all know. Right. This is over. Yeah. Bed. So goodbye 2016. We'll see you on the road.